In this video, we'll talk about the Rizazurin assay, which is one of the cell viability assay. This Rizazurin assay is used to detect whether the cells are viable or dead. This kind of assays are widely used to investigate cell responses towards a given agent drug and to understand the effect of cytotoxicity or kind of like harmful effect of a drug. So question is, how does this assay work? If a cell is viable, its mitochondria would be functional. Its mitochondria would produce NADH, ATP, and FADH. So in this particular assay, a dye is ad added in a cell culture. And this dye is rizazurin, and it is blue in color, which is non-fluorescent. Now, with the help of mitochondrial dehydrogenase enzyme, and NADH produced from the citric acid cycle, this particular dye would be reduced into a pink or highly fluorescent form of that dye. This fluorescence can be detected using a proper detector. And if the fluorescence is detected, that means the cells are viable and mitochondria is functioning. That's why NADH or dehydrogenase enzymes are properly able to convert it into a fluorescent form. Now let's talk about key points regarding this assay. It's a fluorescence-based assay for assessing cell viability. The amount of rhizophen, which is that pink dye, can be monitored by measuring the fluorescence. And in this case, depending on the cell type, one can use like as few as 40 cells to do this assay reproducibly. That means it's very sensitive. Now when it comes to the advantage of rhizazurin assay, it is highly sensitive, then it is a very simple assay to perform. It's not complicated, doesn't require very high profile uh, instruments. Now, overall, the kinetics of this reaction can be monitored. So a time point based analysis can be done. It is safe, non-toxic, non-radioactive, non-carcinogenic. So from all aspect, it's a very nice assay. And it can be, it is quite versatile. That means it can be used on different, different cell types, including mammalian cells, bacteria, protozoa, yeast, fungi, literally every eukaryotic cell or prokaryotic cell. So in order to perform this assay, you have to have a cell culture hood. So in the cell culture hood, you have to first seed your cells that you want to assess. Maybe it would have your treatment condition or it would have your control condition. Then as a step two, you have to add 10 microliters of rizazurin in the solution. And then this particular uh, plate has to be incubated at 37 degrees centigrade for about four hours. Then the fluorescence would possibly be developed and it should be monitored using a plate reader. So the excitation is somewhere around like 570 and the emission is somewhere around 590. So with that, one can calculate the viability of the cells. Now let us try to understand a real life scenario. Let's say you have a tumor sample and you have a particular drug and you think that by putting this drug, the tumor would be eliminated. So there would be a lot of cell death. And in order to understand the cell viability, you can possibly perform this particular assay. So here is your experimental setup. You have a control cell cells and you have treatment cells where you have added the newly synthesized chemical compound. And then you would perform the rizazurin assay. So if uh, the cells are viable, then it would show high fluorescence. If the cells are not so viable, it would show low fluorescence. And that can be quantified using the plate reader and a graph can be generated. In this case, the graph shows that after treatment, viability has decreased. This is how rizazurin assay is very useful to detect cell, viali uh, cell viability after any kind of exposure to chemicals. I hope this was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to uh, follow us on Facebook or Instagram. You can get more notes and flashcards in our Facebook. Anyway, you can support our channel using Super Thanks. After clicking on Super Thanks, you can pay via Paytm, PayPal, UPI. Alternatively, you can support us on Patreon. Do follow us on social media. All the links are provided in the description. See you in the next video.